so seems to work. Checking the sound. Let's see. So seems to work. Yeah. Checking the sound. Let's see. You should so hear me now. Double since yeah. I'm checking the sound. With Steve sound. No, it's over. Yeah. Okay. Um, we s continue today uh, our campaign at uh, the Camille mode uh, with our German F B four nine F four pilot. Uh, I loaded up exactly at that point where we left off last week, uh, playing today the third week of the campaign, I think. And yeah, going to continue our career. Um, so far, those are these are our campaign stats. So far, two uh, medals, uh, awards, and, and twenty nine aircraft, five vehicles, three artillery, one building. Checking the difficulty level again looks fine, as always. Uh, twenty nine aircraft we have shot down. Let's compare this to the newspaper. So we need eight aircraft more, and we end up in the next newspaper. We'll see if we are able to do that at some point. Hope, hopefully. Hopefully, otherwise, uh, pretty sure we're dead. <laughs> Oops, that was one step too far back. Pain again. As a reminder, this. Um, this campaign is played in Iron Man mode, so I'm not able to um, repeat a mission where I'm dying in or get captured. So uh, at any point in the career it can happen that my pilot dies. And then it's over. Okay, we have now a new mission. So I have the planning room. Okay, this those are the missions for the day. Apparently I'm assigned only to one mission this in this day. And this is a ground groups cover mission, I guess close to uh, to our airfield. Find the F4 it appears. Let's look at the map. This is our airfield. We cover here some ground troops, so we are really close. Should be doable. Realism is still expert, so I have no external views, no um, no other helps, the exception of navigation markers, so I see where I'm flying and stuff. Yeah, hello at Jake and uh, Mida Ryu, appeared in the chat. Degrees. Yeah, let's reduce the fuel a little bit. Eat that much. It's ground cover, so if Peshkas are coming in, maybe I take the armored windscreen. But I remove my headrest to see a little bit better. Oh. Gun pots. Nah, I go without them. Most likely they have fighters. And I like the climb rate. Taking a nice historical skin of Hound. Maybe I put his his skins uh, now more often in the description. Early default. Take it. Late the skin, because it looks nice. And uh, let's go. Let's see what happens. I'm ready.
No, I don't play War Thunder, and I'm kind of amused that the question comes up so often. Uh, apparently, it's sometimes a few whoops, old subs coming in. I think the sound is now pretty loud. One moment. Okay. Uh, apparently, the, the old subs comes sometimes coming in and asking the question, which I can understand. But no, I don't play any War Thunder anymore. Yeah, in Germany it's of course now 5 p.m. so most uh, guys coming from work and enjoying their weekend. It's nice weather today but of course us nerds are sitting in front of our computer what else. <laughs> um, it's a pretty empty map. Ah, here we go. Oh, I lost my comments. Eight thirty PM, that's three hours to the east. I don't know, that moves should be middle Middle East uh, or maybe um, Russia or something. That's more or less our airfield here. <laughs> if I could, it would be nice if I could live off YouTube, but it's so far away from uh, being able to live off YouTube and streams. It's miles uh, away from this. And um, no, I, I, um, I'm studying and I'm working and I'm doing YouTube. So, yeah. Work. Okay, is that what? Uh, where I live from, basically. I do for a living. Now I got it. What I I'm printing engineer. Or media engineer nowadays it is. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not only you. I mean, you could pull off now, uh, pull, pull out the, the YouTube stats and tell you how many people are living in, what was it, Russia or Middle East? Um, then I could tell you that it's far m a lot of people there. I see contacts I had. Fighter spotted 12 o'clock. Yeah, those are fighters, I think. I have to focus on the game right now. For a brief moment here, I see this group of aircraft just straight ahead. B40s. Well, I guess I shoot them down, right? I, guess I shoot them down. I don't know where my, my guys are going, but I guess shoot them down here and now it's a little bit more smart than to wait until they are at the ground troops no I'm not studying history uh, I'm 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 still studying print and media technologies with focus on print ah I remember myself I have to save ammunition in those missions Often you get a lot of guys on your tail and you have to be careful with your ammunition. But those guys are flying in formation here, it's amazing.
I don't know even what to, who to attack here. There's so many. The performance is still pretty much poor. I I corrected a little bit. I have now a lower drawing distance for buildings. But that oh, oh there's a P40 climbing up to me. He should stall out before he comes here. Um, a little bit uh, focusing. So the performance should be now slightly better, but it doesn't feel like it that much. Oh, he still lives! Oh, no, something broke off. A wing. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's actually possible that there on down low is somebody and attacking our ground troops. Maybe I should take a look at the ground troops. But what help? What, what is, it's no, of no help. And we get then bounced by P40s. Okay, I let I try to find my ground troops real quick and see if uh, I see some ground attackers flying there. And I don't see any P40s high up anyway. Yesterday I had a I had a guy from uh, from uh, uh, YouTube. Or, by Nui Wildcat, he does P40 videos, or a lot of P40 videos at least, on my 6 on a online server, in an online server. And that was a nice dogfight. I think he uploads a video of it, and I'm looking forward to that. P40s are no problem usually to beat. The only problem is when they are on your 6 and diving after you. And it's kinda hard to shake them off. Yeah, I think that's the side too. Lost now. Okay, there are multiple aircraft and they seem to be IL 2s. Okay, I go for this one here in a head on. Planning to, to hit him from the underbelly. On the underbelly. Some hits in the belly, but nothing important. Checking my six looks good. Rolling in again. Too fast. Too fast. Oh, I choose. No fighters yet, but I expect that maybe a P40 is coming soon-ish. Okay, I2s are firing rockets there. That's a 109. Two I2s so far. The choppy performance is not helping here in flying and picking up enemies. And aiming and stuff, everything is basically a little bit wobbly. Oh, I think he lost the wing now, after all. Where's the second? He should be somewhere a little bit to the east of the ground troops. There, I see two aircraft down. I, okay, oh, it's spazzing out, here we go. But still, it, does, it feels not good. I'm turning off the HUD or to get a few more frames. Hitting the deck to spot the last I2, he should be this direction. Huh? I saw him. Checking 
and six again. Hmm. Lost him. Yeah. P forties. Those are the P forties. fights. So as long as they are only P40s I will... oops! Again! Spacing out. Checking my tracker once again. I can uh, look at the chat uh, later. I have to focus. This is a point. Nine. He's attacking, I think. It looks like he's attacking. Red Tracers, that is a fighter. Okay, that was a fighter. Many 109s here as well. Biggest task is not to collide with anybody. Online. Shoot. Checking if the mission is done already. Doesn't seem like it. That's a German shooting, I think at least. The bullets look weird. They're not looking like mine shots, but he's down. But it was a German. One and nine, one and nine, one and nine. Hmm. Like a one and nine. In fact, a continuous power for a long time now in combat. Primary objective completed. Let's activate the hut again if I get... No, no landing clearance or something like this. I'm waiting. Ah, here we go. I was not entirely sure what it was. There was a guy in the clouds. Looking at my stream stats, it looked kind of fine. I guess. No drop frames, so maybe it was just a small connection issue. I hope it's um, it stays alive. Good. Okay.
Oh, the mission is not updating when I'm not. Yeah, okay, I'm able to um, now clear to land. But the combat power is bugged. I like to disable the HUD at times just to save some performance and I mean it's more immersive a little bit but uh, the problem is you don't see any indicators anymore when your mission is done or something like this if you land then maybe your mission gets um, counted as a bullet or something like this when you land then you think the mission is over and uh, this I want to avoid The sky looks clear. So I'm landing now. Popping flaps. Maybe for the nerds, you have such indicators on the wings there, how far your flaps are extended. Like each stroke is uh, for 10 degrees of deflection. And of course your landing gear indicators without a hut are in the left low corner here. When the lights are green, then the gear is fully extended and land. And that was the first mission. Oh, you filled the chat a lot. So if you have any questions, yeah, that was as the chat was went down. <laughs> uh, I've chosen to start in the air to to speed up the missions a little bit. At uh, taking off at the at the ground every time takes a lot of time over overall and slows down the campaign and i'd like to to have some uh, progress or fa kind of fast progress um if i find combat flaps effective i say yes at times depends most of the time I don't need them, especially not in Apollo 9s. But sometimes you want to have like, I don't know, a few percent flaps that you get a little bit better turn rate out of your aircraft. And then common flaps can be immensely helpful. Another good moment to use common flaps is at the top of a uh, zoom climb. When the enemy is about to stall out below you and you want to get him there, then sometimes to drop some flaps to guide your nose around the ground to drop it back down. Uh, comet flaps, for example, in the Focke Wolf are immensely helpful. Another guy got killed, but we by now we're getting used to it. <laughs> Sadly, proceed to next day.
Did I, didn't I click just on the next day? I was reading the chat again. <laughs> There's a new, new newspaper. Null airfield. Mm -hmm. I think that was there every time. Okay, only one mission this day. You know what? Since you just said it, let's let's take off from the ground for once. I know that sometimes the AI is freaking out and crashing, and I hope it's not now. Uh, the mission is. I have not paid attention. Enemy ferry attack. Woohoo! With a bomb. F4, nice. Start mission. Um, I tried a IL-2 campaign earlier today just to have some ground attacking going and um the cover was working in this one mission. I was only playing one mission though. Okay, we are taking off now from this airfield here, flying around here, attacking this, what is it, a bridge? Yeah, bridge of course. And then we turn to La Pino, Loshino, flying back to our airfield. I guess with a bomb. With a bomb. Take 50 kg bombs. Because you can deal out more damage. We shot more damage. We don't no need full fuel. We're going again with a nice skin. Here we go. Some ground attacking for once. Here we are, on the ground. I don't find the takeoff particularly immersive. Since you are starting with the engine running, instead of needing to taxi or something else. So, I don't find this particular... What are you doing with your rudder? What is wrong with your face? Uh, okay. Damn, there are four fields more. Oh no, I forgot my headrest once again. Uh, no, it's not possible to take uh, a focal of wolf on this mission since we are playing Battle of Moscow right now. And there is no focal wolf up until next year in Battle of Stalingrad. 1942. But I thought if we reach uh, Battle of Stalingrad at some point, I may want to change the squadron and switch to a, a Fokkerwolf squadron. And this would be then way more ground attack. But we will see. Actually, we just just see, just see, and I think the focal wolf appears halfway through the Battle of Stalingrad in this campaign, so it, it's really a chunk of time. And up until then, especially if we play uh, with the speed we are playing right now, maybe I do a second stream at some point. On the other side, I don't want to spam the, the channel with um, stream recordings. That would be not so nice. 
maybe I keep then the streams unlisted so that everybody who has still the link as a notification of the stream is still in the emails, for example. Uh, but uh, my, my, my main channel is not spammed with videos of stream recordings. That would be kind of bad. I think it was it would dilute the channel. There is of course a, a cold start option, but uh, the cold start in IL2 is not even realistic. The engines uh, can can't be warmed in a realistic manner. The thermal dynamics on the ground are not really realistically modeled so you basically have to rev up the engine quite high to get any meaningful um, heating going and uh, more realistic would be to run the engine in very low rpms to protect the engine and not to put some high stress in it to warm it up And um, Jake, yes, of course, Focus are better at ground attack, obviously, for many, many reasons. One being can carry bigger bombs, another being is more rugged against um, the ground fire, another thing is better uh, high speed maneuverability, that means that you can dive on tanks and ground forces with higher speed and can pull out at higher speed and at the same time then run away from the enemy way better since you can bring the speed with you from the attack and you uh, are faster on the deck than any 109 so uh, Oko Wolf is much much better for ground attack Oko Wolf is the better aircraft anyway I just claim now This 109 is not climbing because my my wingman here, my basically my wing leaders are not climbing, and we're doing a ground attack mission. We're staying low. so much sure that the AI would not deal very well with a cold start. I don't know what they would do. <laughs> I just guess they would take off and blow the engines. And I'm pretty sure that the engine would be running anyway. But cold. Are we close? Not really. IL-2 multiplayer is difficult to play unless you have the best internet of the world. I don't know what you mean with that. Uh, it's laying sometimes, but that is because of the bad, bad server software of IL-2, especially the, the, the dedicated server software. That is bad, and it's not your internet when it's lagging or crashing. It's a server. And this is indeed bad, but it's not the internet connection. Usually if you have like one Mbit upload and half a Mbit download, uh, other, uh, other way around, half a Mbit uh, upload and one Mbit download, you should be able to play the game just fine. 
Actually, I do that very often when I upload videos. I just cut basically my upload to a certain extent and use the rest upload I have for, for playing while I'm uploading a video. And it works. Slightly higher ping, but it works. Those guys are faster than me. Could be that they are using higher throttle settings, but it could be that my 50 kg bombs are just a little bit more draggy, which is likely. Almost there. We, of course, our route is directly planned over an enemy uh, flag position. It kicked. Yeah, yeah. Um, the game got a lot of. Very popular with the latest patch, and this is not making the situation better since many people on the server means a lot of stress for the servers, which means that lots of kicks and stuff. It did, what is your ping uh, if you test your internet connection on sites? If you just Google speed test pop, uh, dot net or something like this, or type it into the browser, you should get a page where you can test your, your upload and your download speed and maybe. Maybe post those results here. And if you get anything meaningful there, it should be doable to play the game or possible. I mean, even the Australians, for example, can play on, um, on European servers or the other way around with high ping, but it works. Important is to have the bandwidth. So, I think I see the bridge there on my two o'clock. Bombs are ready. I see now here my bomb module. The four white lines, uh, white lights are for each bomb. So I know how many bombs I have left. Typical German over-engineering. Other nations would not bother to install any counters for that. Would say, pilot, count yourself how many drops you did. But they built a device so you see how many bombs you have. I wait for my comrades so they drop their bombs first and get eaten by flak first. But psht. I don't know where he's going. Maybe we are not there yet. Okay, I was looking at the wrong bridge. This is Moscow. And there is Flak indeed. Why do you hold so still when a flag is shooting at you? So many questions. So hopefully they don't want to fly a third time over the 
over the objective since at some point the flag will hit what are you guys doing? Oh, finally finally okay I think I will take out the, the flag first I don't need the bomb for this nice hits nice hits Oh man. Whoa, very nice hits. I think I take the bomb now for this. Ooh. Ah, got it. Dark is destroyed. I see uh, see guns firing there on the on the on the line there on the at the river. I go for this with my bomb. I'm firing again. I see a gun there. I just f next time for such a ferry attack, I think I would just buy without a bomb. Most targets you can just destroy with your guns. You can maybe attack a part of the bridge. Where's the rest of the guys? Uh, they take so much time to attack. I'm taking this beginning of the Ponton Bridge. Looking around, if I see any fighters. No, I got the beginning. Nice hit. Are they, are they gone already? Are they leaving? No, not really. Ah, okay. There, here they are. Taking now another part of the bridge. Oh, well, that's a nice and in pieces. Oh, they're tanks. Maybe I should attack those with my last bomb. I did not see those initially. Oh, this is a pity. Oh, damn. I would have attacked the tanks with my bo uh, bombs instead. Going in to get one of the tanks there. The middle one. He's firing after me. It's not exploding. I guess I dropped too low, but usually the bomb delay of five seconds is enough to uh, have no bombs anymore. This is really bad. God damn it. Okay. Searchlight, I think. the ping it is possible that your ping is very high and that the internet is not very stable on your side and of course it can be that, uh, that uh, you get a very unstable experience from South Africa I mean you are connecting to a server in Russia for the most part if you play on Wings of Liberty for example and um, that's quite far away and I don't know how stable the internet is in South Africa you have to tell me there okay I want to maybe get another gun or something here it's really a pity I would have liked to attack the the tanks standing around there but I did not spot them in time 
I think there's another gun which I can attack. My truck. It's a gun. Tank, 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 tank. I think on the far side, the second bridge are more um, where you attacks basically. There was a truck, I think. Still see it. Another car or a truck. Truck the right at the river. Yep. We tried rather to get against the wind here, a little bit side wind. So, call it the day, boy. Call it the day, boys. We're done here. I'm German, yeah. But I think I was. You know, the, the, the Oktoberfest is mostly a Munich thing or a Bavarian thing. And I live in West, Northern West Germany, North Northern Westphalia. And up until recently, let's say 10 years, it was not a thing here. Not at all. Uh, it's a little bit now, but it's basically like, I don't know. It's a little bit weird since we basically um behaving like or we're dressing like we would live in Bavaria and it's weird <laughs> it's really weird but I guess another reason to have a fest so and Germans are great in having fests I like to have the beer fest it's amazing basically you can in every weekend you can go somewhere and drink beer so yeah that fits And of course, Oktoberfest is the only fest which is famous for the most part. So guys, what are you attacking there? I did not see anything. I'm leaving you guys if you're not doing anything useful. Yeah, they have to improve the AI. But uh, the, uh, today was a dev blog and they said they want to improve the AI. And I really hope that. I mean, they are just attacking here nonsense. Uh, senseless targets. It makes absolutely no sense what they're doing here. They're strafing ground targets. They can't even destroy. Okay, I guess I will fly back now. And why fly here and fly then back? Why not? Okay, I do it now on my own. Ah. Setting course home.
I have no idea what you mean. I guess you mean the the carnival in southwest uh, northern Westphalia. Uh, but I have nothing to do with that as well. Jäger. Apparently there's a fighter close by. Have not seen it yet. Oh, I see Duka is there. Oh, out of my face, stupid message. Who is smoking? That is a 109. And he is getting chased by 109, which is knocking heavily. And there is fine, okay. He's kind of creeping up to me here. Attacking makes. It's online. Are those guys guys doing nothing nothing of any benefit to anybody? This thing seems to be down, wing broke off. And okay. There's another one. This looks like a mic as well. He's just going into the sky like I said a 109 from earlier. Possible as well. Picking the 6, looks clear. Oh, that's a 109. Don't see the second guy vanished. There he is against the cloud now visible. Maybe more than just two. Yeah, that is that is an I16 here climbing up to me. Oh, is that a MIG? That's a MIG. High performance climb. another one. I try to keep my altitude here. Uh, as soon as they drop to the deck they are hard to see and they could be more higher up and that is the reason I'm staying higher. This guy, I think I can pull him up now. I hope he follows me a bit. It doesn't help if I lose them. Oh, there he is. Oh, climb, 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 climb. Try to get me, then I get you. Wobbling his wings, I don't know. Good hits, but nothing special. 
I see going down. Vanished into the cloud. My mates dismantling this other mech. Oh, hi. It's an I 16. He's diving. Question is always are there more? He's just diving out. And there's the second one. <laughs> you die trying to dive on him here. Cutting throttle. Last year, but I tried anyway. <sighs> I've kinda to have a have an eye on my fuel here. 150 liters now. As a question to the rudder usage, I will answer that in a moment. Right now, I have to focus on survival. Gun. Uh, rudder usage is is really really a broad topic, and um, and rudder is in the game. Very important. Right now, I'm by the way I'm using right rudder to stabilize my climb here, and not to fall over to the left side. Uh, no, I can't do this. There was a second guy next to him. I don't want to fall in front of his guns. Yep, yeah, there he is. Uh, and that's sometimes I look on my turn and bank indicator, and if this ball is centered, then you are uh, more energy efficient. And this is done with the rudder. There are two guys on my six. This guy is starting on the... Oops, that's too much rudder. Now, that's, by the way, rudder again. <laughs> Trying to roll me around. Fighting in enemy territory, I don't like. In the case some stray bullet comes across and down over enemy territory. First, I have to pick them up again. Hello, hello. Hello, Inko. I'm streaming right now. Okay, what server are you on? <laughs> Single player campaign. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> they are the two guys. Let's try to get them. Should I shut up in that case, by the way, or are you not recording Discord? If you want to talk about the footage you see in the stream, then it's fine. I say it, I mean, it's a little bit confusing, I guess. Yeah, and I don't think I'll be watching the stream. So. <laughs> I'll I unmute my microphone and. Alright, see you later. Yeah, and I'll, 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 I'll hop over onto another Discord, but. Yeah, if you want to fly together or something, then uh, just uh, right. No, oh, maybe later. Yeah, see ya. See ya. You. Yeah. Ah, it could have been better. The second guy. I find the AI behavior sometimes a little bit hard to predict. 
sometimes they are really about to dive, then they don't, and then they basically fly like they would like to pull up, but they do not. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to aim. Um, so usage of rudder in gunnery. Uh, sometimes, usually, less rudder is better. <laughs> Maybe I can describe what I'm doing if I shoot this guy now. No rudder right now, basically. A little bit right rudder. More right rudder. Okay, I missed. I still have those two guys on my think They are really annoying. This guy should start out. I should... I don't know, rudder is okay. A little bit of right rudder now. So good hits. I just kept there at Oh again two guys. This gets tiresome. Crash. Now kiss. <laughs> I'm going for the higher one. He's presenting himself a bit. I'm not really anymore. I tried to get a deflection shot here. Yes! Got him. This engine should cease at some point. What's my fuel? Fine. What's my ammo? Fine. This guy is presenting himself to stall here. Stall, 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 stall. Um, time to go home. I get too much luck here. Yeah, hi at the new guys. Amy going sideways to target. I have not observed that and I doubt it. Of course, if you, I mean, if you, I can just um, demonstrate that. If you're, of course, flying straight now like I am and you're using this, of course, then the bullets are basically going a little bit to the right. Of course they do. Of course you can guide the, the bullets in or something like this. But of course the bullets can't fly straight away since the gun is fixed with the aircraft. And then of course the gun the bullets are not flying in any different direction or something like this. But you can mess up your aim big time with rudder. Hello to Brazil. Hello Brazil. I'm checking my 6 once again if there was maybe a 4th guy or something like this. 
I'm still wondering if you can basically deplete an airfield out of planes. That you, let's say you shoot down eight aircraft a mission, and this every mission, and uh, maybe after a week or so, you the enemy squadron has to wait a week for new planes. Got something to drink here. I mean I checked fuel earlier but this if the red lamp is on here the Reststand Warnlampe and without combat um, you have like 15 minutes to get back um, it turns on at 75 liters a 109 roughly consumes in full combat power seven and a half liters or something like this this means that you have 10 minutes on combat power when the light turns on and uh, this of course can be much 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 improved with lower settings than like 0 0.8 now we consume roughly three and a half liters that means uh, we have the 20 minutes so um, no need to panic to have if you have low fuel in the 109 But really, if the, if the lamp is lit, you have really enough time to get back. But you should leave combat and make your way back. And of course, you can go for even extremer uh, fuel saving methods. Going 0 0.7 at half, for example. My record was like 2 liters a minute in some tests. Um, are there any signs? Okay, that's all set Yeah, 15 minutes after red light on is certainly doable. Like I said, 75 liters in, in the tank when the light lits and 7.5 liters for combat power, that's 10 minutes on combat power and you can increase that um, by reducing power and at 0 0.8 at I think, or 0 0.7 you consume half of combat power and then you have your 20 minutes. And this is quite efficient, you can um, back on that uh, on relatively high speed it's like 400 kph on 2k or something like this Will I play with total noobs? I did a couple of times. Sometimes I'm playing in the public channels. Got a bit rare right now, since often the channels, the public channels came then very full. Maybe a limit would be a good good thing there, that only eight people can join a channel or something like this. But usually it became then very full and very chaotic. And get any meaningful gameplay or tips out of this uh, was basically not possible anymore. Which is a little bit sad, but yeah, it's like it is. So I guess if you limit the number of people in one channel, then it may work. Yeah, by the way, my Discord. Join. It's on my channel page. There you can ask all the new questions you want to get answered. And I love new questions. And this is really no joke. Uh, sometimes I'm really like um, astonished what the questions are but at the same time I'm so fascinated because those those answers to the question are for me so clear but it's kind of I don't know like 
really refreshing that somebody does not know that and it's just nice that you can that you can tell people um, some good things about the simulation now let's land now see no f guns firing right now fast a little bit side slipping here and uh, to finish up this rudder discussion you said that physics and the velocity is stored in, um, in the direction and I'm pretty sure that all the the ballistics and stuff are accurately modeled in the game I think the ballistics are top-notch All right, finished this mission. It was the second mission for today. Just turning up the volume of the game a little bit so you get me all that. Uh, you got four aircraft, four vehicles, and three artillery pieces. It's nice. Oh, A guns. Going into the flight lock. Flying here, getting bored as hell. And we started to dogfight all the good things. Whoa. The usage of the zoom is kind of weird. Shot down three I 16s here. That's nice. Down I 16, down I got all the I 16s. I guess no MIG. Yeah, nice. A four down. F2 down. What are they doing? And when was it at the landing? Eight o'clock. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Two one nines crashed at landing here. One was shot down here. That means, <laughs> like, I don't know how many percent of loss. Uh, the Focke Wolf has longer time on on reserve. I think it's on absolute reserve. You can fly high like half an hour. It even stands in the cockpit of the Focke Wolf, like twenty eight minutes on on economy settings. And economy is basically the same, like zero point seven Atar something like this. So we have one injured, and our uh, flight lead. Oh, he's ugly. What the hell? <laughs> Deputy Commander lost his aircraft as well. We have only pros walking here. We have the best. Quick question. When in the 109, what's the best amount of flaps to use in, to keep in a tight turn? No flaps. <laughs> Mostly. I would use flaps only sometimes. I would. And if I use flaps and turns, then I would only use like 5%, something like this, really just minor, minor flaps and really hard turns. The best work in 109s or the best measure to get good turns in the 109 is the reduction of throttle a little bit and good um, elevator control. Maybe I can show you that when I fly later and have to turn. But I use really rarely flaps, since the 109s turn amazingly well without flaps already. Better than the MiG, better than the LA-5, uh, better than the LEG of course. Did I miss something? Uh, and at very low speeds you outturn a Yak. With flaps, without flaps. I think it is even possible without flaps, but a little bit of flaps maybe against the yak in low speeds, good throttle control, and you out turn everything. All right. Um, and again, I repeat myself here. This is not not something where you should build your 
fighting style around it. Um, good turning in the 109 is, is good and all, but it's very dangerous, of course. So this time we're flying in F2 apparently. And we escort ground attack aircraft. Yeah, and it's very close, so I won't take full fuel again, like 75 or something like this. We have the removed headrest, 20 millimeter. Then we take a nice skin of Hound again. Let's take the generic skin. Oh, let's take Mulders again. I think it's only 2k, but they're amazing anyway. Um, the conversions is okay. Let's start this. The 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 main thing with as a beginner um, is that they use the elevator too too hard. They try to turn as hard as you can, but um, it's a little bit hard to learn. But after a while, you will notice that um, not, it's not the hard turn which wins you the turn fight. It's the the, the, the angle arm. It's the speed. You still have basically re to regain a certain amount of speed, so you have a nice and decent turn rate instead of radius. But maybe I show you in a moment. And hopefully I don't kill myself with it. Maybe I use now the time or that's a long tech aircraft already. The E7s, I guess. So we are now on low speeds. Let's get a little bit faster. Usually you turn in into somebody with higher speed. And what you can do now is basically you pull the aircraft to the side and then you pull as hard as you can and then you get this floppity flops. Uh, and, uh, accelerated, accelerated stall. But when you use basically a turn and you try to, to lead for an aircraft and you use a little bit of rudder here to center out the aircraft and then you guide the aircraft through the turn, it's much more effective. But this takes a little bit of practice. And in those moments sometimes it may, can make sense to, to drop a few percent of laps to stabilize your aircraft so you have a little bit um, a better angle of attack available to you. So you basically drop some flaps and then the nose stays longer, a little bit stable. But as you can see, my speed drops here. And as soon as I'm dropping here out of speed, the turn becomes slower and slower and slower. And you get radius, but you don't get any rate anymore. So, wait, where do I have to go here? North-ish. Approximately.
you have to press the like button now. The the has has that. Oh, sorry, sorry, wait. Uh, since I just did that in the last mission, so I have to go back a few minutes. And at the end of the last mission, I did a hammer. I just missed the attack of my ground attack aircraft. And I hope they don't get snacked now by Nix. That's the flag, man. Eh? I want my four bag, that was much better. This has to be a true turn energy must be the goal. But sometimes you need the bit of turn rate now to get this guy, otherwise he outturns you in the next turn or something like this. And you are sometimes in those situations. I don't out of the top of my head I don't know a video where I did this or something like that. Sometimes I have examples. I have a few really cute turn fight videos in modern lines in the channel. I remember one where I was flying a F4 first, then F2 and then E7. And there it was sort of important to stay on speed. Fighter Southwest. Feeling. Yeah, two traces. Oh, they are fixed. Very lower now. See the aircraft there? Yeah, those are aircraft traces. Look, I 16 ish. We get our turn fight now. E40. Ooh. It was a volume of fire answer. Now I I just cut the was cutting the throttle a little bit to get more deflection with him. Maybe you have to, 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 to get back and see uh, the value on the right side of the screen. Uh, and sometimes you need to cut the throttle to get um, to lower your speed and to get more, uh, more authority in the elevator. The logic says for turn rate you need to be fast. Um, or at least you want to get faster to the enemy and then you are opening the throttle like a maniac. But what, what that actually does, it widens your turn. Instead of my guys, is there a guy? It's like more than ish. Uh, with forest, it's kind of hard sometimes. My guys, E7, I think. And this is a perfect firmware, yeah.
a nice beautiful design. I think we might surround him right now. I saw me before this time, yeah? Another one. It's kinda low. Yeah, I think I have the speed here. Cutting throttle again to reduce. There's no tail anymore. Back another one. Is it no? Oh, that's all right. I don't get the AI. Yeah, Guy is attacking this AA there, then you don't bother by it anymore. I don't see any P40s anymore. Oh, there's no one. This is a ground attacker covering mission. And it's just now done. This was a quick one.
weapons are not shooting, seems clear. We 50 and we didn't drop our landing gear. <laughs> three aircraft, three P forties. The zoom level is insane. If I'm really just zoomed in fully, and then I want to zoom on one step with my mouse wheel. <laughs> well, nope. <laughs> Finish. day. No, I have not read that book. No, I have not noticed any changes of the 190s. The, um, the style characteristics got changed way earlier in the last major patch, I think. Are we relocating from an, to another airfield? I hope it's really far away from the, <laughs> the current one. The current one is bad. <laughs> Let's see. What is the mission? Oh, we really can do Saritza, which is at the front as well, but not in such a pocket here. Interesting. I would like to know the, the tactical decision behind that. Right now, are, are they losing Kalinin? Are, I'm not such a history nerd that I know what happened here. Kharkov has fallen. Yeah, we will see. But right now we are relocating now to Staritsa airfield. So we're doing that now. How much easier do you find it to fly with a wingman? On a scale to 10. How much easier? 10. If that means it's easier. Flying alone is very, very difficult in this game. And with a wingman you get much more free. With a good wingman, that is. With a trained wingman like we have in the Hydra Squadron. And um, it's if, if I have a Refik or a Hound on my side, uh, since I'm in the wing lead, basically a lot of tasks in what looking around are relieved of me and basically of Rafik's shoulders. And in that moment, I can think about tactics. I can think about um, attack attacks. Actual attacks. I can fully focus on an attack instead of checking my six all the time. And this relieves so much stress. 
and it's really worth it to have a good wingman or at least to have somebody who you are training with so i highly recommend to get some people in the game you, you like to fly or to play with and oh that's the wrong skin to have another one is it an f2 i think so right It's a wrong skin. This is an old skin. Why is it an old skin? Ah, F2. Ah, oh, yeah, I have not replaced the F2. Okay. Um. <laughs> Later. All right. A little bit less fuel. Let's go full fuel. I mean, it's a relocation. Maybe I have to fight on the other end, like hell. It's not far, but you know what? <laughs> Let's take for the fuel. Okay. Aces of the Luftwaffe. I, I take a look at it. I'm dark. So my squad is relocating now to Sorita Airfield, which I personally like since we finally leave this crappy pocket south of Kalinin. I will fly uh, the flying circus campaign, um, uh, at least the, even the game. I guess yes, I guess yes. I don't know if I would fly the campaign something like this, but I will take a look at uh, the flying circus. But my focus was since forever on World War II aviation. I enjoy that a lot. And I forgot my headdress once again. This is really annoying. I want to have a template. Yes, get friends and abuse them to be wingmen. But very often people have, um, have already members of clans or something like this where um, they're playing with them, um, shooters or something like this. Very often they like to try new games as well and then you have a wingman. Apparently the, the wing leader stays low here, so I will say no.
what would I recommend? Raka or Oculus Swift. If you get into flight sims, I would recommend a head tracking solution, which is not Tracker R. There are cheaper track, uh, tracking solutions like Track Head uh, and another one, which name I have forgotten. Track Head and also Dellen Clip. That's right, Dellen Clip. And those are much cheaper alternatives to Track R. And then you can build up on this. And if you want to, to try on Oculus Rift or VR for that matter, later on you can do that. But to spend such a large amount of money on a product where you don't know if you're using it for a longer time, no, I would recommend to get a head tracking solution first. And if you like flight sims and you do it a lot, then go into VR. Maybe. I don't know. Even I, I mean, I, basically, I could have thought of myself a VR solution at some point. But I really don't want to right now, since uh, it's basically not through the technical level I like to see. I like I would like to wait for the second generation. And they're flying slow. time a bit. <clears throat> what kind of ammunition I like to use? I mean you are you are fixed in the ammunition in 109s. In 109s it's like one AP and two HE bullets. And sometimes you have the choice in for example the LA5. You can choose between AP and HE bullets. And in this case I like to mix my Keep my belt mixed. You have the best of both worlds. But sadly you still can't select the ammo belting in 109s, which is maybe realistic. I guess only a few people are really able to change their, their belting of the of the guns. In back. Death And yeah, I would not recommend to get Tracker R since it's very expensive and the build quality is not really going along with the price. <laughs> and I have Tracker R, but this is basically, I made the same mistake many people did. If you just Google such a solution, you Google Tracker R already. And you see the prices, then you think it's expensive, but what the hell, buy it, I want to play that stuff. And then I bought it for 190 euros or something like this. I think it was something on then. And uh, I didn't care. And uh, now I would say just get another solution. Cheaper, better build quality even. They're weaving around like that. Should be there anytime soon. Yeah. The last time I was changing airfields. We had a huge air raid going on.
no guns firing at the moment, so I guess it's clear. Running out of speed with the gun here. My frames, I have 16 frames, all of a sudden this is really bad to control. What the hell is happening here? What is hell? Oh, this is basically not playable. Shit. My best guess is that maybe this actually gets attacked now with uh, lots of planes. Since the frames are really bad, I said we spawn now. No, uh, mostly you um, you have the same bullets on one another every time. You can't change the, the mix up of the bullets. You can do that in Cliffs of Dover, where you can change all your ammo belting. Amazing. Nobody dead. Oh, oh, let's wait. Maybe that's coming. Uh, the track hat is not really a hat you can carry, it's just the brand. The brand is called track hat, but they have um, LED solutions as well. You can have it as clips on the, on the headset. The track hat is just a name. Uh, track AR ah, sells a product called track hat or something like this. And this is really just a reflector on, on top of a, a cap. Nope. Yeah, take a look at it. It's much cheaper. Next day. Would be great if they would assign to me another F4 again. We've got a new guy, Andreas Engels, not yet flying. Now I got an F4. We have that sometimes. Sometimes I'm flying with uh, Bo and Bismarck. Sometimes, sometimes they like to have me with them. Not every time. No, no.
ground attack. No, not ground attack, but uh, covering mission. So let's take a look at this fuel. Still enough. Let's take a nice skip. Why did I choose Sheriff as a nickname? It was a long time ago when it was just a joke that I got called the Sheriff in German and I just kept at it. It just stuck. It's not a big story around the Sheriff thing. Not a big reason for it. That looks hilarious. Left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> I think the, the simulation is again reducing the, the simulation speed to keep up the objects. Ah, this is really not really that great. I hope they fix a lot of this. Something gets flucked down there directly ahead. Aircraft ahead, not identified yet, looks like. Partially, maybe mix. And other stuff we know. This is a fighter for sure. Those are our tools, all of them. It would be crime not to shoot them down, right? We have no rear gun.
And we follow keys. And tons of P40s. What was the mission again? Shoot on everything? Yes, we have to defend our airfield here. Ah! I guess I have to shoot on all those guys to get a better, better performance out of this. <laughs> so many aircraft. That's really insane. It's really running slow again. This is really bad. The frame rate is high, but the simulation speed is just super low. And here, mix. We are in twos, forties, it's basically a large scale attack. There you go. There you go. He was there. Ah, there he is. I see a shadow. Okay. Just trim a bit. And he goes down. Stay where you are. Thank you. All right. All right. Put it down. Stay a bit. That was a lot of waste. There's one Nick and one P40 on this poor fella. Oh, the bales? I have to take a look at the chat later again. I'll check right now. see all those high twos again maybe they are at the location of those traces there. Got some jolly traces. Guys shooting with it. Yeah. Double shooting. Risky baby. You guys. Back at the Russian is going down. There are more guys in there. Follow me.
feels like the performance is getting slightly better. Another one on mine. I see two shadows there. What's the sun? Oh, that must be down my right wing. And there I can see one on mine alone. That is a big. That is a big. The throttle, I mean. But the performance now gets better, I think the IL2s are out of range. Okay, let's not turn this guy. Half throttle right now. Ah, I spent too much bullets. I have to spend more bullets. for the sure shot instead of <laughs> now I don't go full throttle I just guide the aircraft to return and that's another make uh, yeah Fix it for somebody else. Doesn't look right you know. Running in. Bad performance to get energy back after this turn fight. A minute of rest to power. Spend like maybe 10 seconds. Running back on continues. Sneaking up into level 6. And there comes the weird AI behavior. Pulling up, pulling down. Level 6. Across the aircraft, taking the surroundings. Still good. I survived a bit. I'm running low on ammo right now. Bring us off. I think the mission was originally to, to, to have something on the north or to attack something in the north. But um, I guess to defend the airfield from the imminent attack was a little bit more important right now. And I don't have uh, enough ammunition to fly this mission. I see German traces still. Right? Mm -hmm. I have still ammunition for one or two kills, so now somebody's still in the area that would be nice. I see traces firing up. Germany ain't firing straight. Six. I would not call it shrugging off if he's pouring out 
fuel, coolant and oil. But yeah, the last week took quite a beating. Ah! There is my last Oh, I have two weeks on my six. Using again my emergency power. That's the second one, I saw two. They are hiding. I saw them. I wonder how I could do the money I have. Come on guys, pull up. Third one. Ten or twenty mine shells left. He's still fine. Almost collided with the wreckage. Come pull up. Zoom up. to the airfield. There he is. And if I pull up now, I lose him again. Oh, let's try it. He will follow anyway. Maybe 5, 20 millimeter and then a couple of hundred and these should be enough. again.
should pick it up soon, which is for sure there. Yeah, I feel it. Let's see. Maybe he was not following him. We'll see. Or oh, Effield will paint him if he's still there. Yeah, they, I can see the cloud, I think. They claim they can't, but I'm pretty sure they can. I, I don't even know if they claim, but I think they once claimed at least that the flux units can't see through clouds. And this is surely false. I don't see any guns firing, so I guess the, the, the MiG buggered out. Which is unusual and maybe a nice sign. Sometimes the AI does some clever things. Luck, see the mix. It's fully down. It's good. <coughs> uh, that's what I meant. Sure, what I said, I got out. I was a little bit swallowed there. Five aircraft. Oh, I guess the mission is accomplished, failed. We don't see very craft. Not down of ours. <laughs> mission safe error, are you kidding me? What is this? What's this? Mission safe area. If I have to play the mission again now, I'm really pissed. Royally pissed.
that's another one. No, that's the same mission again. Same mission again. Uh, did I? Yeah, I got another reward. Kinda. Yeah, but for some reason the mission didn't save. Yep. Yeah, uh, I guess uh, that's for it now. I'm not gonna to play play the, the mission again. Not feeling for that right now. Um. So I guess yeah, I have about a week now. Again. Um. Now this is it. It for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, next, I plan to do another stream next week on Friday. Not sure about the time. Next week on Friday, the next week of our campaign, and maybe we get some more missions in. Even we will see. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.